challenge someone, he was like, you know, he was like locked and loaded, like cocked and ready, but. All right, today I'm checking out Natalie McMaster and Donna Leahy. I'm listening to the song, Fiddler's Despair. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna have some fun and play a tune that Natalie and I recorded on uh, our one of our records. I think it was Greatest Hits Volume 5, something like that, maybe Volume 6. <laughs> anyway, it's called Fiddler's Despair, and it features our daughter Mary Frances Leahy on many things. So Mary Frances, here we go. One, two, three, and... Where do you even pause an instrumental? I don't know. They're not slowing down. If anything, they're speeding it up. There's never going to be a point to pause it. So maybe I should maybe I should let it go the whole way through. That tap dancing, a tap dancing is such an art form because like the way she was dancing, I feel like that those dance moves would have been good even without the tap shoes. Like she was hitting some kind of jig or something, knee popping up, leg horizontal and stuff. You know what I mean? All, all this kind of dancey stuff. The tap dance just makes it extra. It's like how do you actually do good dance moves? while tapping and making music with your feet. That's such an art form. But anyway, this fiddle business. I never knew fiddles. Well, I, I didn't even know what a fiddle was growing up. I just knew violins, and I still don't know the difference. But anyway, I never knew violins slash fiddles or whatever could be played like this until doing these channels, until doing the channels. You always just hear like and classical stuff or a little classical hip hop remix if that goes viral and whatnot. But like the way this is playing, you know what I mean? It's, it's such a cool sound. There was a lot, man. There was a lot going on. I mean, that's impossible to process all that music in one listen, but you had that bass line that was kind of tying things together. The drums, it's like, I barely even remember them. It's really those fiddles though. Those fiddles. It's like everything played its role in making it all mesh together. But what stood out the most, fiddles and then that bass line. You know what I mean? Fiddles in the bass line. And the guy, he had such a, you know, vibrant, happy look. He was almost like, 
You know what I mean? Like he was gonna challenge somebody to some kind of fight or something. Playfully. Playfully challenge someone. He was like, you know, he was like locked and loaded, like cocked and ready, but hitting the fiddle with a big old smile on his face. That was like quite a performance. And the tap dancing in the beginning, that was good. That was just all around. Good and dancey, hit a jig kind of music. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know.